This first episode of Three Steps is brought to you by Kerbatron Photography. You know when you go on eBay and you search up the Canon 5D Mark III and you're thinking, damn it, if I had that sort of camera I could make some freaking pimp videos. Well in today's show I'm going to be showing you how you can achieve the same effect with your everyday camcorder. Hello and welcome to the first episode of Three Steps. So, in this show, I'm going to be describing to you little, um, kind of three steps tips, basically, on things to do with, well, anything really to do with videography or photography or gaming or technology, anything, literally anything to do with technology. So, this first episode is going to be a quick little video, nothing special, just, just little, uh, information snippets as you may call it and um, basically it's going to be how to get out to how to get shallow depth of field uh, from an everyday camcorder so you need a couple of things for this video you're going to need a, a camcorder and b did uh, optical zoom on your camcorder if you've got digital zoom on your camcorder then it's not going to be any good because digital the difference between di digital zoom and optical zoom is that digital zoom is literally the camera takes the video and then in camera crops it and then stretches it so you're not getting as many pixels you know you're not getting the quality and also you're not going to get a shallow bit of field because literally it's the same video that's just been small you know that's just been cropped optical zoom on the other hand is what is what proper cameras use and it's where the, the literally the literal focal of the lens moves in order to zoom in or out so this is what you need on your camcorder so to do this you're going to need um, to basically get your camcorder and put it as far away from you as possible and zoom in as far as you can. And then step two and step three are basically the same thing and that is basically compose, uh, compose the, the image right, which is, if you don't know what composition is, that's basically get everything in the frame which you want to get in the frame. I think this composition that I'm using right now is pretty cool as uh, I'm on the left Hand side, of, yeah, I'm on the left hand side of the video. The bike is here on the right hand side. How this is just pimp bike, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Um, and yeah, now now I'm gonna do a quick demonstration, basically, of the different because I can't really explain it in words. I'm not very good at explaining things, so I'm gonna do a, a, a literal demonstration. So right now I'm kind of half zoomed in. It, the camera's as far away as I can get it, but it's not really far enough to get a shallow depth of field. So I'm going to do two comparisons right now, starting now. So this is what the composition would look like if I was right in front of the camera. I am literally about, a f not even a foot, away from the camera lens right now. And this is the sort of thing I'm talking about. This is not good. I, I'm, everything's in focus. Literally everything right behind me is in focus. Everything behind me, my face is in focus. Everything's in focus. This looks terrible. It looks disgusting. So now what I'm going to do is show you what you should do to get shot of field and make your videos look epic. And this is what the composition looks like if the camera is as far away as possible and zoomed in as possible on my face. Now as you can see behind me, well first off as you can see, because my face is the only thing that's in focus, it looks very very crisp, it stands out, it makes it look 3D, not 3D because that's, you know, you're not wearing them stupid blue and red glasses right now so it doesn't matter. But um, yeah, it just makes, it, it focuses attention on my face. This is tips you learn when you're doing photography, which I'll get into on another video surely. It's whatever you want the people or the, the viewers to focus on should be in focus and everything else should be out of focus. But it's also it's also in the fact of looking, it looks artsy. You know what I mean? I do art and design at school and I learn about this sort of thing anyway, where my face is in focus and that's what I want you to focus on. The background then looks cool because it's got these stripes, which are, they're not even in focus stripes, they're out of focus. Um, and they're, they're like, I don't really know how to describe it, they're, they're not blurred. Blurred's the best way, word I can use to describe it. But this is what, it, it, do, just doing this makes the video look a lot more professional, looks a lot more um, high quality, and it'll really get your videos more views and uh, a public fan base, so to speak. So thanks for watching this premiering episode of Three Steps. I hope to see you next time on Tech with TV. Thanks for watching.